Ladies and gentlemen, it is Newsday Tuesday, and today I got some really hot stuff for you. Also, again, kimono day in my office. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Little upgrade here for my background. It's all fake, though. My real room? Yeah. My fake room? Mwah. But anyways, the news today are mind-blowing. Because the thing here isn't... Come a little bit closer here. So, the thing is, until now, we played around with... Control net creating cool stuff and making videos flicker a little bit less, but now the big players show us what's up. And that stuff is really world changing. But you also want to be part of that game because this is the A game, this is the future, but this also shows us how things are enabling new possibilities, opening up new doors for everybody in the creative fields, in the professional fields, in the science. So today we're going to take a look at that. And that look is going to be amazing, mind-blowing, heart-stopping, Let's kick this off with the trailer of NVIDIA from the GDC conference. And here they are showing the full range, the wide scope of AI applications. I really like that they say I am and then show AI applications. Here, for example, creating code for video games. This is supporting you in your creativity, in your process, so you can create more and faster. Here we have 3D tracking from a video 2D to 3D characters, multiple characters at the same time. So this is a good indicator that things are moving so fast, have such a big volume that we can't handle that information anymore. So we have the AI supporting us in the process. But of course, still, we are the creative minds. We are the people bringing everything together. Here we have research. Again, AI has the ability to have massive data in the background and working tirelessly to analyze scientific data to make experiments, to calculate simulations and then give us the results while we know what to do with that information from the respective fields of the experts. So this can be applied in so many ways and NVIDIA is showing how vast their range of research is in what many fields they're going with this. So here, for example, is a AI replica of the sun can be used in science research. So all of that is really amazing. Here we have a search application. The AI understands the content, for example, in this case of videos, showing you the exact video that you're looking for, the exact part of the video can be super helpful. I can't wait to see the first applications that really help you smart cut videos for you, making a rough cut, and then you come in and design later. Here is another application turning things into 3D. Now, this is going to be much easier. You have seen like this is taking 100 photos, but you can also do that with three photos, still creating a 3D model. And this is very important, of course, for all the applications we want to do in the future. And here again is a really cool application on how AI is supporting us in our jobs, in our creativity, turning a photo into a 3D model, showing people live what you're doing. So the applications here are really, really massive. And NVIDIA, because they are in all these fields, especially image processing and data processing, are a huge part of that. Here's game development, where you can tell the AI what you want to have, and it's creating that kind of environment for you and arranging the elements in that environment. Another thing here, of course, is sound processing. That is also very important to not just create music for video games, for movies, but also, for example, to translate your voice into different languages, but then still sound like your voice. There's huge applications for this. The first one is about environments. This is not just video games. It's TV shows, movies, advertisements, lots of use cases. Now, creating a massive, highly detailed, consistent environment is tons of work. Here, you can see a process where this process is content aware. It's also procedural. So you drag in the assets and the environment is adapting accordingly to that. For example, adding the locks over the river or replacing the ground with a riverbed. Now, this can also be used, of course, for other things like plants, trees, grass, the animals, you can have birds in the sky. So everything can be changed and adapted in a way that 
will create the environment for you without the need of you going in and placing every single detail by hand. Another thing, another way this can be applied is by describing to the AI how the environment should look and the AI will add all the elements for you, again making the process more fluent and faster. In the next example, this is about MetaHuman, which is a tool to easily create highly detailed 3D characters. Now, there's two things that stand out here. First of all, you can create a full highly detailed 3D scan from just three photos, and then the AI is approximating the movements of your face for the different emotions, expressions you want to show. The second thing is that from just a smartphone video recording, you can do the face tracking and then convert that into realistic movement for the 3D model. This can also be applied, of course, to different models, but also to stylized models like Pixar style. And that is very impressive. And of course, another thing here is you have simplified tools to adjust the movements. If you want to do that by hand, create face expressions. So even that can be done just from a video, just from some photos. You can create a copy of you. It is automatically rigged and you can go directly into animation. Another important element of this is Epic Games has massively grown their network. For example, they own Quixel, which is a platform for these stunning environments. They also own the ArtStation platform with millions of professional artists on there. They also have Sketchfab, which is one of the biggest platform for 3D artists and 3D assets. And here's the thing, Sketchfab links into NVIDIA Omniverse. NVIDIA Omniverse is a platform for creating a 3D environment in the cloud with a global team. So all of that is really crazy, bringing everything together and connecting all of that with AI applications. Next, I want to talk about Canva and they have added AI in a big way that is similar to Adobe Firefly, but you can already use it today when you go on the page. What they did here is, of course, you have text to image creation and that is a very good start. But on top of that, they also have in painting where you can use their stock images or your images to replace things in the image to create your designs. Again, something we already know. The next thing that is really cool here is that you can create complete templates with the AI describing what you want to do. And then this is a multi-layer design that you can change afterwards where the font and all the layers, everything is adjustable. Another thing you can do if you don't want to type anything is you can just drag in an image and the AI will make designs for you and give you suggestions based on this image. Again, a very cool way to use AI in a simplified way to help you along the process. Another thing they are doing here, and this is becoming increasingly more important, is translation by the AI so that you can create your social media content and presentation in multiple languages. All of that is really mind blowing and you can use that today. You can try that out by just going to Canva. The next news is about ChatGPT and I think this might come as a surprise for a lot of people because they adding plugins as a superpower for the AI and they are doing it in a very smart way because while the plugins have access to the internet and live data, ChatGPT doesn't necessarily need that. So the information is sent to the AI analyzed and then you get the results of what ChatGPT is telling you. And they already have amazing ideas and plugins on their website for you to look at. For example, like planning your trip, booking flights, finding the best deals, finding the best restaurant or hotel at the location where you want to go and a lot of other advice, cooking recipes, all these kind of things. And this is massive in how this can be integrated in everything that people can come up with. Of course, another important element of this is code because it's used in most creative productions today. And you might be able to use ChatGPT for that, but a better solution might be GitHub Copilot. The cool thing here is it seems like they have resolved their issues. They are using OpenAI Codex and 
they offer on the page right now a free trial but also professional plans so you can get starting with your production right away and this also integrates right into your code editor and the last news i want to give you today is about microsoft now as you know microsoft is a massive investor in open ai open ai is not just chat gpt also dali so now on bing you can go and you can create images with dali and this even seems to be a newer version of dali that you can use on bing so you can play around with the ai now i want to know what you think in the comments about all of these news and I feel like so far we have witnessed the birth of AI, but now the door is kicked open and we see examples. All of the big players are there. We have Google, Microsoft, Adobe, NVIDIA, Unreal, the biggest companies that are part of almost every creative product that we are seeing out there. Sketchfab, ArtStation, everything's there. So you can't still say, well, this isn't art. You can't still say, well, real artists do it by hand the story the history has changed the way this is integrating you can see that this is a tool that works along you so you can create in a higher volume in a faster speed with a higher quality to reach out to people and with the plugin integration have this even done live so that this will integrate in every part of society but at the same time you are still at the helm you are still the creator that is pushing the boundaries that is pushing the envelope to go farther than we have ever before but still your vision, your creativity, that is what counts. That you have a story that you want to tell. That you have a style that you want to express. That you have an artistic idea that matters. And this is where the test is going to happen. Is it good or is it just another AI generation? I'm absolutely excited about what this is bringing, about the examples I've seen in all of these keynotes, in the conferences, in the presentations. I can't wait to see what's happening in the next week, in the next month. This is going to be a new universe, a new multiverse. And we are all part of that and we can do massive things with that. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.